Mr. Kaboom. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, well, teams are, teams are joining in here. It's going to be a pretty neutral kickoff, so I cannot tell you who is going for it ahead of time. It's going to be Evil Twin and Off at Church meeting in the middle. Off at Church with a pretty decisive kickoff victory there. Bonekin puts it into the middle. Bell's there to get a nice backwards touch toward the corner. Evil Twin stalling for a bit of time. Dale with a big clear. He's going to get across midfield for the first time all game, but immediately sent back the other way by off at Church. That was a mighty the net. Ooh. Andy shuts it down. It's in the yeah. corner for Honest Cosby's. Bonekin takes it over. Dale Doback ping-ponging it back with off at Church. He's now got control. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he's not able to get control of that ball. It just bounces over him into the corner. Now Bone can try to drive it out, but he gets shut down by Mighty Moose. Yeah, and it's been a pretty pretty ping-pongy game so so far as Mighty Moose is going to get a save on the long shot from Andy. Um, and now Dale's kind of killing a bit of time in the corner. Drops to Evil Twin, touched by Mighty Moose, back to Evil Twin, back in the general direction of Mighty Moose, but he's driving the other direction. And it's going to go all the way to Dale Doback, and now it's kind of stuck stuck in the uh, Carson corner here. Save comes out from Evil Twin, to, puts it just over the crossbar, and now a big clear coming out from Mighty Moose. It's going to get passed off at Church, potential shot. Bonekin's going to turn it aside before anything can be done about that, and Andy, long shot is going to go off the crossbar. Very close from him. He's Bone looking for another one ball. here. And a shot it's from Bone can off the crossbar. <laughs> a lot, a lot of crossbars here. So Evil Twin's going to clear it into the corner. Off at Church puts it back toward the middle. Dale clears it again. Finally across the midfield. Pretty neutral ball is going to fall to Andy. You can't quite put it on net. And that's going to fall to Bone can. Puts it back in the middle again. So definitely a ton of pressure coming out here. From Honest Cosby's. It's off at church is keeping it up with a bit of a pass off the back of the wall to Andy, something like that, and Bonekin puts it in the middle again. Andy oh. with the demo! What a demo that was! Wow. I'm yeah. pretty sure he was going for that shot, but uh, let me double check. Andy going up. I don't Andy. think that was an intentional demo. It works. Yeah, Andy's putting already some... heading in. Whoops in chat, so that looked like uh, might have been an accident, but either way, that was quality looking play. And that's going to be. Kickoff from off at church. Yeah, that's going to be enough to give the uh, goal to Bonekin on this one, as well as an assist off at church. So, as we're nearing uh, halfway through this game, Dale's going to try to even it up with a pass to the center. Mighty Moose gets a shot. Andy is going to turn that one aside. And a bit of a whiff on the wall. It's up in the air, right in front of like, goal. Oh, Mighty Moose feels front like you foot, ran out man. of boost. Yeah. He's, he's no Mighty Boost for Mighty Moose. <laughs> now oh. Andy, waiting it out. Gets it past Dale, but Mighty Moose is there to control it. Goes into the corner of Honest Cosby's. And Bonekin quickly clears it out. That's heading towards the net. Oh. Evil Twin's going to touch it, lay it down, and Hoppet Church gets a touch. And, oh! oh a corner shot, just barely missing. Off Andy the now going again. backwards, trying to get that one in. It gets cleared away, back into midfield. Everybody's fighting for it here. Off at Church, trying to center it. Mighty Moose off the side wall. Bonekin and Evil Twin meet. That's a 50-50 that goes quite neutral. Mighty Mouse passing it up to Evil Twin, but Andy steals it. We're Mighty still Mouse. in midfield. This is, yeah, is it Mouse? It's not. It's all right. <laughs> well, I checked the scoreboard and missed the action to see if I was saying that wrong. Well, it was just a, a simple touch from Andy, which probably was, was a bit of a goal steal, but might have been what he needed to get it past Twin. Kind of hard to tell from the angle I was watching. That's why you always steal. But, that is going to be an, an assist from Bonekin, so uh, you know, that's, that's his first of, first of this one. And another save comes out from Mighty Moose, and that's the second savior on Carsonal so far this game. Wow! So you, you, have, saves. You, have to, you have to commend their defense, even if they're losing in this one. We got two hangovers on the other side of the field. Yeah, nearly a nearly a third here. As off at church is at two shots. But Dale's gonna be Dale's gonna be looking for one of his own. Is a shot, but it's gonna be actually a save for off at church. And a bit of a nice backflip touch from him. 
It's going to fall to Andy. Andy's going to look to center it up here. Can't find off at church. Off at church finds the backboard. Oh, and nice Bonekin. That's going to go off the cross farm. Honest Cosby's. Honest Cosby's have had a lot of trouble with the crossbar in this game. So it's, uh, it's denied him a fair couple of goals. If it were just a couple feet higher, the scoreline might be quite a bit different. And there's Mighty Moose with a pool ball shot? Question mark? Not totally sure what happened on that one. He gets a touch and then... It crushes a couple members of Honest Cosby's in that yeah. general direction. Not even sure which one of them touched the ball last, but... Not either. Well done by Mighty Moose. Probably not intentional, but whatever gets a goal gets a goal. And now they have 30 seconds to get another one here. And Andy won that kickoff. It uh, looked like Ooh. to me that uh, Aka Church had won the others previously. That seems to be a, a strong point for this team. I don't know if somebody's oh! other people what to do. That was a great opportunity from Andy. Really oh, close. Great save. Boy. Yeah, that was, once again, crossbar best goalie. Living up to its reputation as it denies Andy from a close goal, but I think that's gonna that's gonna end this game. 2-0 in the favor of Honest Cosby's. They looked pretty dominant that whole game. 2-1. Or I guess it's 2-1, yeah. Forgot about that that one goal at the end, but yeah, I mean the the shots line kind of kind of dictates the way that whole game went. Eleven to three. Uh definitely the opposite what we saw in our first match. Yeah, I mean it's first supplemental match. I can't. It's definitely not not so much a great way to get a get a win for Carsonal, but at the same time you have to commend the combined defense of Carsonal and the crossbar, limiting those yeah. eleven shots to only two goals. So yeah. that's you know, as Sarah would say, crossbar best goalie. Indeed. And no cycles, proving that Park Dog is indeed just running the table in this league. In terms of cycles. Oh man, yeah, it's I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Carsonal is really gonna need to step up in the next one with I mean I guess some more some more pressure at, at midfield and and high pressure and definitely some more shots if they're gonna want to come back in this one. I think that, that score line was was closer than the shot line would have dictated. You're not wrong. Looks like uh, Evil Twin and Bonekin are going to be taking the kickoff here. I think Bonekin's going to take it. Did they, uh, as a team, uh, that went a bit neutral. First one uh, that I recall seeing. Anybody else Honest just Cosby's lose connection? Not just straight up win. Nope, uh, that's just nope. you. Okay. Uh, are we on radio broadcast mode right now? <laughs> 100%. <laughs> All right. So I it's mean, going to be Evil yeah. Twin winning the ball from Bonekin at midfield. Dale Dovac takes a shot, shot across midfield that's going high. Andy can't quite save it as it goes off the crossbar off the top of Andy's car and is going to drop into the goal. It's so nice effort. Just not able to pop it up high enough. Yeah, that's going to be a one to nothing lead here for Carsonal. So we're only four minutes, or we're only 20 seconds into this game, really. And, um, yeah, that's definitely what Carsonal needs. A lot of a lot of fast pressure. They've already got two shots going for them. And that's that's what they needed to turn around in this one. As Evil Twin's going to get a touch across midfield, bit of a whiff comes out. Evil Twin trying to stick with it, but Andy's going to get a really oh, weird no, pinch at midfield. What? <laughs> that was crazy. I would say that that was a lot further back than midfield. Yeah, I don't know why I said midfield. <laughs> <laughs> that's because the ball is already at midfield. Style. Already at midfield by the time I got that that out of my mouth, because that was ridiculously powerful all the way from his back wall. Andy and I think that was was that Bonekin who yes. got a touch together on that one and Bonekin's immediately looking to follow it up and he will. Yeah, able to do that because again, off at church just winning that kickoff, moving it down into the Carsonal side right off the bat. I and and off at church followed that up with a nice bump on Evil Twin. So only only forty seconds into this game now, and it's a two to one lead for Honest Cosby's. Two extremely quick ones. As the kickoff goes a bit neutral, but off at church is immediately taking it down into the other end. Andy puts a puts a shot off the backboard, and Bonekin is there to collect it out of the air. This that might actually be going in. Andy. Oh, he and misses the boat. Oh, Dale Doback accidentally knocking that one in. I think he was expecting to save Andy's shot. I, I think that might have been going in either way. So ah, it would have been close. But yeah, now we're 
Only, only what, 15 seconds after the last goal, and it's a 3 to 1 lead. So, this has been some extremely high paced action in this and one. Another kickoff victory for Honest Cosby. Oh, is Andy going to get a backwards goal? He can't quite get the flick on it. Dale's there to get a save. Mighty Moose takes it across midfield. Bonekin puts it back. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it started off well for Carsonal, and after the first 20 seconds, this has been pretty downhill pretty quickly, I think. And, yeah, I think um, you're right, but uh, it's not over yet. There's still three and a half minutes to go. No, they're going to need to increase the lead, not able to do so. Off at of Church, oh, Miss, back, driving it down the field, it hits the back wall. He's going to let it go. Bonekin's going to get the next touch, but Evil Twin is there, lets it go for Mighty Moose. Oh, and it falls to Andy. He's able to clear it out of the zone. And keep Ooh, it moving. That's shot. just going to go just wide. Oh, oh the whoa! Touch. What a touch. What an angle. What a play, too. Passes it to himself off the backboard and then just gets a How is that even possible? crazy angle driving toward the corner. Does some weird sort of uh, side flip that might have even been a diagonal flip when he puts it behind him. Another kickoff victory for Offit Church. Leaves just one person back, Dale Doback. Back back. Oh, evil twin. Can't quite get it down, but Bonekin's going to kill it right on top of the net, and that's going to fall in front of the goal, and no one can quite get on the end of that. Evil Twins putting one across midfield. Andy misses a bit of a touch there, turns into a shot from Bonekin. She's going to go nowhere other than to the corner. Off the church is there to keep it in the zone. And he misses it, and here's a bit of an opportunity coming the other way from Mighty Moose. Evil Twin on the ball. Looking to center it, Andy's going to deny him on the wall. Bone King clears it into the corner. Mighty Moose trying to put it back in. Andy's going to win that 50. Evil Twins keeping it in. Mighty Moose looking for a shot here. Andy, it looks like he faked him out there. Mighty Moose still got a bit of a touch, but... Oh, Bone King had a chance there. Could not quite get around it. Mighty Moose now looking to turn it the other way. He's going to put it off the back. And to Dale Doback, who cannot quite bring it down. Bone King's going to get a clear there. Ends up in the corner. For Evil Twin, puts it toward the center, it's up, it's high, Andy stuffs Mighty Moose on that shot. And now it's going the other way for Offit Church, looking for a Good bit of a weird air dribble. Not able to get it. Yeah, and now it's on the side, Dale Doback, bringing the prestige to the game, going for the air dribble off the wall. Just not able to quite control it, it falls to Andy. Andy now bringing it back down into the Carsonal side, up into the corner, off oh. the back wall, Mighty Moose. Kicks it out of danger. Sent right back that way by Bonekin. He and Offit Church both look like they collide on the sidewall there. Lose their positioning. But Andy kicking oh. up just above the crossbar. Yeah, now it's going to be uh, Evil Twin here. Clearing it along the wall. Mighty Moose goes for another bit of a touch. And Dale's there for a third one. And it is still traveling sideways, sideways across the field. Not the direction that uh, Carson wants to be going at this point. As Bonekin's going to put it into there, and an Evil Twin's going to clear it back the other way. Goes for another touch. It's off the backboard. It's off. Mighty Moose is up with it. Is he going to bring it? Be able to bring it down? Not quite enough. And Bonekin with a clear here. Clears it to himself. Dribbling along the wall. Is that a pass to Andy? It is. Andy with an aerial goal, hat trick, another assist for Bonekin. And, uh, yeah, that's that's not really relevant to this play, but both Bonekin and Andy have cycles in this one. We've got a bicycle. Indeed. Two big cycles from, from, from those guys. And they are definitely not over yet. There's still 40 seconds to go in this one. Either one of them is, is one, one stat away from becoming a, a double cycle, as Andy is looking to go for a great air dribble shot there, but can't quite get it down. Mighty Moose is now looking to clear it the other way. It's going to be stopped along the wall. Dale's going to clear it into his own corner, and Andy's just going to take a wide open net. And there's a third assist from Bonekin on a fourth goal from Andy. Just dominating the Honest Cosby's are this match. It's, it doesn't even look fair, this particular game. <laughs> Carson calling, calling the Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> on themselves? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, boy. And I mean, this is this is interesting too because unlike last game where Carson was being outshot eleven to three, 
They're only being outshot seven to four in this one. Yet the scoreline is so much more in in Honest Cosby's favor. First game was competitive. And that's gonna that's gonna end that one. No cycle for for Honest Cosby or no Brazil for Honest Cosby's, but they did get a couple cycles in that one as they wrap up a six to one win. And that's that's gonna be a two to one uh, or two to zero oh win in the series as well. Uh, just a just a dominating performance, I think, in both of those games. Even if the scoreline in the first one was 